Hello everyone, uh, this is a quick tutorial how to use a JC Profiler uh, from Petr Svenda and it serves for uh, um, providing the Java card uh, implementation um, properties and how, how fast it is so you can measure several several parts of the code, how fast it is because there is no other uh, profile we know about so Petr made this and it's not that easy to use maybe uh, or it's not that intuitive so I'll make this tutorial to, to show you how, how properly use this this JC profiler. So first off, just head up, head on to the to the GitHub and uh, locate the JC profiler. Then easiest way is just to download the zip file uh, and unpack it. I have already done this, I think. So unpack the the, the zip file. Yes, okay. Uh, and then the the next thing we need to to build it. So I'm using NetBeans. Just open the project, find it somewhere. Um, yes, JC profiler this one open it uh, build it you see that it's been finished building so it's fine i guess uh yes that's it and now what we need to do is go inside the, the folder and we see that in this you should be having this uh, jar file this is basically the, the program that is run when jc profile is, is, is called the uh, easiest way is just to get this demo file with uh, all these needed files and put it into this folder and inside you have templates this is the stuff you are putting into there also will be a target once you run it run the profiler that will be the output basically so in the input applet files you want to, to put your, your files that will go to the card the applet so i'm <clears throat> working on a password based key derivation function so we can use these basically this is a function that this is the core of the function that computes some age mag and get instance and stuff like this uh, and a do final so I want to, to measure this do final class or this do final method so I'm just taking these files and putting in this putting in here so now we have in output files here however we need to as the wiki says we need to put these inside where, where we want to to measure the, the performance so go inside the the file and uh, put your your traps as, as they are called here so I want to see how fast my edge make works right this is a function I, I'm calling here and it may be is not that fast so I want to see how fast it is so we surround it with these checks right and then we want to see this iteration this loop how fast it goes because it also calls this HMAC and does some sorting so i'll put this here and here basically there are one two three four like right uh, traps okay save it and uh, also i'll check how many times we are gonna run it so this is the applet file itself that calls the the uh, baby pbkdf2 and i want to run it let's say hmm, 16 times usually it is like 4000 times or so but we just don't want to spend the whole whole life here okay so we have this stuff done here now what we need to do is run the, the JC profiler so basically just open command line it's the easiest way and uh, copy this line here java jar JC profiler jar it says the traps in a base deer is basically the this deer and a demo method base name we will need to put some here okay copy this uh, know, like this and uh, basically you can call the method name any any way you want like here uh, let's say the method name will be I don't know do final Right, so this will be do final. This also, oh, basically like this, and also here. So there is do final four traps. Okay, right. Close this, and we have a method name is do final uh, and run. Okay, it's lots of stuff. So let's let's see it. Okay, processing file, blah blah blah. Total five traps found. Oh, we, we did four, but the fifth is already done there, like the last trap that says it 
okay, everything is done. In blah 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 transforming blah blah blah. Finally replace. Okay, this is all okay. That's fine. And now, what we need to do? So directory demo target has uh, contains Apple's transforms files. So now when you look to the to the uh, dist folder and uh, demo, there's there's the new folder target which create it was created by the JC profiler. And inside we have profiler applet and profiler client. So in profiler applet, these are files that will go to to your Java card. These two files are the original files. If you need to to see, uh, or, or you lost the files or something, I don't know. So if you basically just open it, it's the the same file it is was, but but it has some some dot .org like or, original uh, appended, so you can use it later. But we can see that pdkdf 2java was a bit transformed in a way that this stretch now say some numbers or stuff. Uh, so this is the this is this is the transformation for the pbkdf2 file. This one wasn't altered, but there are two new files, so we will see what we need to do with them. So next file, next thing what we need to do is uh, uh, copy back the blah blah blah. blah. Co open pm java and pmc java and update package info. So my package is called applets, and so we need to to do this. And this, right? And uh, this is basically done. This to do. It doesn't matter. And PM, this there is more we need to do. So now we need to take this one, move code below into your main applet class into process method. So, so first I take this this uh, public final static. It's basically some some macro or uh, constant, and I put it into my applet jar somewhere. It doesn't really matter where, right? So. It now knows what insperf stop set, set stop is, right? Now we need to know what this is. And the uh, second thing we need to do from PM is to take this case and put it into process. Process is a method that is called whenever some APDU is, is put into a Java card. So normally I want to pr put a process that is basically just call the function, you know? But now we want to do this process to, to invoke the, the um, Profiling stuff, but we knew we are using APDU buffer, so this is no APDU buff, but APDU buffer instead. So take care if it doesn't work, maybe it's because of this APDU buffer. Okay, and basically now the code is ready. And PMD, we have to remove this stuff from here. Okay, it's done. So now we have four files. PM, PMC, and these two original, which are transformed, and now we need to compile them into a cap file and upload it onto onto Java card. So I I just copy this, and I go to to my uh, end pbkdf, and I have a uh, profiler sources here. This is basically the old old stuff. So I can yeah I can put new stuff here, and now I just run. Uh, the batch file I made to to put it on the card. So let's see, card is already in the computer. So we see that uh, we deleted old, the old uh, cap file. We built the new cap file, and then we uploaded the cap file to the to the card. Okay, it's done. Now what we need to do, uh, profiler client. This is the second part. We need to to um, first open perf test Java. Okay, so let's go there, and it's. Uh, Profile client uh, source JC profiler perf test Java. Okay, here it is. And now we need to correct applet class applet AID according to your applet. Since I'm using the same applet AID as as um, as the well, Peter Schwenda was using always, this is already done. But your applet AID is basically what you've installed and how you installed the the um, uh, the, the cap file. And you can find basically during your install, uh, you see that uh, you have this build XML, and basically this is this is your AID here in your build file or somewhere you have to find it, right? This is the same. Uh, so you use this AID here, so so the this, the computer, the client client side knows what your what your card's ID basically is. And now you have it done. Okay, we need to fill a class. 
class is B0, I think it's right. We can check we can check right here. These are the sources I was using, right? So uh, it's B0. Is class simple up at the right? B0. So it will be correct. Uh, the next thing is applet class is B0 and then uh, APD that will trigger the, the operation. And our operation is triggered by by calling message digest, right? So message digest is 0 0.61. Therefore, when we go to process, uh, this is called because we, we want to get here, right? Message digest. So it's 61. Uh, six one here and this is the other you can you can specify the more the longer APD you can put I don't know uh, 10 here and then goes then you follow by 10 other um, bytes of data I want to provide to the applet but I don't need to so we just leave it blank and I don't need this at all set proper on card containing blah blah, blah. is not necessary so just give it no now and it's, it's done so this to do is done this to do is done and this to do is done <coughs> now uh, we need to give a card name so it's target card with uh, pbkdf2 uh, with uh, software HMAC because I'm trying to distinguish between software and hardware HMAC and which one is faster and how much faster it is so the software HMAC okay this is the name of our card or whatever you want save it and uh, yeah, perfect is done. So we, we did open perfect test and applet class, applet ID, app do trigger, blah blah, all this is done, right? Now we can set card name, we, that, we did it and cleanup is not necessary. Now we just compile and run JC profile client. Basically, basically this is what we did and that's all. So now we just open AdWins again and uh, we we open the project of JC profile client. So basically the JC profiler is the project that creates another project which runs um, the stuff so we have already our stuff on the card uh, we need now to just open open the new client which we can find uh, right here so you get have to go inside here and it's in this folder uh, demo target client here it is right this is the client we want to run now open project Okay, just profile client, just check this one, easy it is. Uh, yes, this is the right one. So you can see what, what is inside, which basically what we what we change here is, is just this stuff. We just change it in Notepad plus plus, but it doesn't matter. And now we just need to basically run the project. Yes. You can see the communication uh, profiling is finished. Uh, all performance traps can reached correctly. This is what we want to see. Uh, so we can see here that the start was 8 milliseconds. It's just basically the, the invocation of, of the stuff. Um, and then you can see the trap do final 2 was reached at 40 milliseconds, then 60 milliseconds, and then 657 milliseconds was do final 4. So we can see now very easily how how this works out so we go back to to jc profiler and uh, um the applet uh, uh, folder now has this perfect like, performance results and you can see this this is the, the number of the session we, we just ran here and when you open it it's basically the same however the the files inside are are um, extended by the performance results. So we go down to our traps and we see the first trap has now the comment here. Uh, not card name. This is, this is strange because we did give some card name, but whatever. Uh, and this was reached at 8 milliseconds. So everything up to this point uh, lasted for 8 milliseconds, like invocation of, of the do final process and stuff and all this code. And between these two checks, so basically how long did HMAC last, was 40 milliseconds. This is very important for us. So one HMAC run lasts for 40 milliseconds. Also, uh, 
we see that this copying takes some time, not very much, but okay. And now this was run 16 times, right? Took us 657 milliseconds. And it's basically just 16 times called EdgeMac and 16 times called um, some soaring of, of uh, an, uh, 20, 20 byte long array. So we can basically do more tests when you want because it kind of fluctuates somewhere sometimes. But you can calculate that if 40 milliseconds is basically one EdgeMac, 40 milliseconds times 16. This takes 406. Yes, this is this is the number, and we have 657. So basically, 17 milliseconds is for this one, uh, which means is one like one millisecond for for um, soaring, which is not much. But when you do like 4,000 iterations, this takes several seconds already, so it can be really really slow. I mean, that's basically it. So you have profiled your your code now. You can do it more more runs and see the, the arithmetic mean or something or of your of your profiling so the results are more correct. So next step for me, for example, would be not using this so um, this so um, HMAC I call it myself here. This is the HMAC I call it myself. However, I want to I, I want it to use uh, the HMAC that is inside on the card already so you can use this just this one you know set key initialize the edge mac and sign it but however my card doesn't support uh, the the edge mac now so i expect it to be like five times faster or something because with uh, 4000 iterations this takes like i don't know four minutes or so it's, it's really long so i need i needed to to optimize the code and this can be done with any any piece of code uh, however, I advise you to be careful about um, the four cycles because when you put something inside the four cycle, it will be invoked just once during the first iteration of the four cycle. So it's easier to just go around and see how many times, how how, how long does the four cycle take, and just divide it by the number of iterations or, or something like this. So this was it. Uh, you see how JC Profiler works. It's not that hard if once you you know what you're, you're doing and what I'm talking about. If you have some questions or comments. Uh, leave them down below. I will be very happy to to, to address any any questions or or um, notes you have on on this stuff. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.